All right. Hey there. Now we're going to go to what I would consider to be the last major connection. And remember, we had octave shapes to help us spot where the next chord went. When we did this, I had this. Well, look at that. Here's a root. Here's a root. Here's a root. I'm going to start with this root because I want to be on set one. This is a first inversion because the third is in the bass. And I'm going to go root two, back for a two, slide up for the three to four, the fifth, and okay. Notice I didn't go like that. I went, why? Well, because I'm prepping myself for the chord shape, okay? The next one, this would be a partial F as well. First one was partial F. Here's a partial F. All right, if I play all four strings, that would be the classic F. But this is a root position, all right? So here's my root, back for the two, three to four, and five. So root, two, three, four, five. And chord. Next one, classic E shape on set three. I'm going to break out of the shape and I'm going to run my numbers. Root, two, three, four, five, five, and chord. That's a second inversion or a D with an A in the bass. And the last one, set four, it's going to be a first inversion again because this is the third. So I'm going to play root, Two, two, three, four, five. Do it again. So remember, set one was a first inversion. So set four is going to be a first inversion. And that I would call partial F shapes with classic E shape an extension, an E-shape extension as well, okay? Now, those are the three different groupings of the major chord shapes that you're going to use when you do these exercises. And I don't do every single key because the books would be over 600 pages. It would be insane. So I've picked a set number of keys, and every time I'm done with the major key, I go to the relative minor. So for example, the very first grouping and or chord pattern scale shapes as far as exercises, for these exercises, root through five, will be in the key of C. So they will be with open strings, right? So, and then we'll start with this classic D shape. Next. Next. And then I could start repeating again. But do you see what I just did? I used the first pattern from the first video, the second pattern, the AG, and then the partial Fs and the E, right? Well, if I start with the A, guess what the next pattern is going to be? It's going to be the F to E. Here is a partial A as an A chord. Here's an A, here's another A, and here's another A. Remember, those are the partial A, classic A, kind of partial G shape going into another partial G shape. But my next chord scale pattern is going to be the F. Partial F, partial F, classic E, E extension. The next one is going to be the original classic D. So here's my root. Okay, that's an A. And here it is. Classic D shape, extension, or partial C, partial C, and then the classic E on set four. Every time you do these patterns, whatever the first pattern is that you lead off with, if it's A, G, the next pattern will always be F, E. And if you start with F, E, 
The next pattern will be the D C. Does it make sense? Here's F E. Here I am. Now it's the D C. Here I am again. Now it's the A E partial A classic and G. Back to the F partial classic E. Okay, it's. It's just the way the neck is designed. And again, if you start to see these patterns, you get quicker at spotting them on the neck. You get to spot chord shapes quicker. When you're playing songs that you're learning, you're probably going to start spotting all this stuff inside the songs that you're learning as well. It's everywhere. All right. It really is everywhere. And as I throw out more songs and talk about these chord shapes and talk about learning songs, we'll discover that as well. Okay, didn't mean to ramble, but I did want to cover that because it's one of the patterns that you're going to start to spot as you do these exercises. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next vids and those videos will be covering the minor shapes. All right, that's a little bit more abstract because we're only dealing with three classic minor shapes, not like we do with the major shapes where we're dealing with six major shapes. So anyways, thanks. And we will see you in the next vid. Thanks for watching this video. Again, I'm Phil Olson. To purchase the Awesome Guitar Series, click on the link below. It'll take you to Amazon. You can see full descriptions of each one of the volumes. After you've made your purchase and you receive them, go home and practice.